Okay, hey everybody, Solomon here again. So we've done, I've done a couple of very interesting videos from creating a Webster application server on cloud um, and taking an on-prem application and do the optimization of it, which is lifting it into the cloud with zero changes um, into the next one was integrating my application that is running on my, um, uh, or my application server on cloud and connecting that to my local desktop and just doing a test connection to make sure it works. Um, the next um, item or next video I would like to show you is the enhance, which is um, after I go to the cloud, now I want to take my application and I'm going to modify it to take advantage of the cloud and run it um, on the cloud and uh, on, on-prem as well, of course. And I'm going to show you how to do that um, because this is kind of the, the typical way that people take their applications, modify them to enhance them to continue to grow them. Um, and I'm going to take that stock application that I've been running and I'm going to take that stock application. And one of the things I was thinking of how of ways to enhance that stock app um, and what I came up with is to add some social interaction for that stock application. Um, as you know, it's an application that runs and gives me the value of the stock when I enter it. And I figured, well, if I can get the number of tweets that people do about that particular stock also, that would be kind of an enhancement that I could demo as part of this particular video. So let's get started. So the first thing I did is I went to uh, bluemix.net and I, in this case, I looked for the services and I was looking for something I could use and I figured, let me use this um, insights for Twitter, okay? If you click on that, you'll see that, um, I already created it, so I'm not gonna create another one again. Uh, but this is something that I can use to get some data uh, from Twitter um, and I can pay for it um, based on whatever um, Twitter charge you. I mean, this is IBM charges you for this particular instance. Um, so let me go to my dashboard. Creating it is easy, obviously, you just hit create. Um, once I go, here's my dashboard. You see, this is my insights for Twitter. Um, and if I click on that, um, it really just gives me information about what it is and shows me the APIs that I could call. Um, in this instance, these are the kind of APIs. If you do the list of operations, um, you can see how you can do track and, and everything else that you need per ID versus none. Um, you can search for an account, get count. And then the, what I tested with is I actually just use this count. So I can get the value of the stock, let's say IBM, and I can say, show me the number of tweets that exist for IBM. Again, the purpose of it to just show you how I can enhance my application. So if I go in here, the first thing I want to show you is the credentials. Um, this is, these are the credentials that are created for me so I can get decharged, because again, I'm using the services that are offered through Bluemix. I'm gonna show you from my desktop initially. Um, so I took my application and now I have another one that's called Twitter Enhanced. The purpose of this video is not to show you how I've done the coding. Um, if, if you're interested, reach out to me and I can give you a copy of um, the code so you can actually play with. Um, I am just calling these APIs or RESTful APIs and I'm just calling these RESTful services. What I wanna show you is that um, this is actually I'm using the same credentials to access it from my desktop. Um, this is when I'm doing a quick test. And I'm gonna go ahead and run my application. Um, and as you can see in here, when I run this application, okay, um, here's the new enhancements that I have. As you can see, I can see IBM, and I can enter my cell number if I want to. Um, and I could, and this is the new enhancements I added. Now I can say Twitter social activity count, and I can either enable it or disable it. If I click submit, of course I added this um, cute Twitter um, logo here, just to kind of show you that I did make these changes. As you can see, I get the results back, and I'm getting that we have 1,000,000, um, times that the tweets happened for IBM. And if you did hear the, the kind of ring, that was the text message that I received because I also sent myself a text uh, with these values. As you can see, this is working great. And now I'm ready to take that application and deploy it um, on cloud. And again, I'm still using the same APIs um, that I used from enhancing my application. So let's do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, just export the application, right click and do export um, war file. And this is the one. I'm adding it into the location that I configured, as you can tell from my previous videos. I configured this um, FileZilla, which is to give me connectivity to my VM in the cloud. Um, and right now, there's nothing. Let me just export it. Um, and 
here you go. And now if you look at this, you'll see that I will have um, my other application, the one that has the Twitter stuff in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that application over um, to the installable directory on cloud. Okay, and now my application um, has been FTP'd over. Here's, it's called Twitter Enhanced um, February 9th. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead right now and go to WebSphere on cloud and install this application and watch it. Um, I guess I need to remove the old application. Let me stop the application first quickly. Um, and then I will go ahead and delete that, uninstall that application. Yes, please go ahead and install it. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Um, so now let's just go ahead and install this um, other application. Again, it's on my remote server, so I can browse um, like we did with the previous video. I'm going to go to slash OPT, IBM, um, and then WebSphere. And from WebSphere, I'm going to go to Profiles and my default profile that I created, installable applications. And I'm going to go ahead and add that Twitter application that you saw. Um, I'm going to click OK. Next, and again, accept the defaults. This, this purpose of this is not to um, do anything special uh, from an installation perspective. So I'm just going to go ahead and do next, next, accept all the defaults as is. Okay, and finish. And as that happens, the application is installed. I'm just going to go ahead and save it, and now I'm ready to go. Maybe start the application. And now my application is up and running. So let me go ahead and run the application now to show you um, how it looks by running the same application on the cloud. Okay, so if I open a new browser, and I'm just going to go ahead and I call it stock um, servlet Twitter. It's a new, new one. And voila, as you can see, now I have my application running. Let's say if I search for um, um, and go another stock just for the heck of it. And let's say I'm going to say, yep, I am interested, enabled, submit. And as you can see in here, now I'm going to get the value of the stock. It's going to tell me, well, for this um, Lucent, I got 101,666 times it's been tweeted. Um, and there you have it, folks. This is shows you how easy it is for me to um, um, just take my application, enhance it very quickly to use some of the services offered. The sky's the limit, actually, actually on what you can use um, in the cloud when it comes to these services as they continue to be enhanced and, and even more services added. Thank you so much for your time, and I look forward to um, doing more videos that, that hopefully will help you understand um, the, what cloud and hybrid cloud and IBM does in that space. Thank